Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you in detail of how to set up your Google's Home Assistant to make phone calls. At the time of this video, this service is only available for people who live in the United States, Canada, and the UK. So grab your cell phone and let's get started. So here's a few criteria that you need to get it all up and running the correct way. First of all, all your contacts are stored on a Gmail account that's connected to your Google's home device. So if you're trying to call someone that's not in your Google's Gmail account, you'll need to add them, otherwise the Google's home doesn't know that exists. Also, your Google device must be set up as English US, English UK, Canadian English, or French Canadian. The way the Google Home works is that you can only call in your home area. For example, if you live in the United States, you can only make phone calls to the United States, as well as if you live in Canada, you can only call to Canada, and the same for the UK. If you have a Google's Voice or a Google Fi account, this will allow you to use your credits that you have stored on file to be able to make long distance calls outside of your home area. With your Google's Home already set up, go ahead and press on the app to get started. Next, you wanna press on Settings, and then scroll down to the bottom. Next, you wanna press on More Settings, then press on Services. Now you wanna press on Voice and Video Calls, then press on Mobile Calling. And if you plan on making long distance calls, you'll need to have Google's Voice or Fio set up with credits on it. But for now, let's set up your phone number. Next, enter your phone number. Then press on Verify. Now here's the code that I received. And then press Next. As you can see, it only took a few minutes to get it set up. Now, how do you make commands to it and what can you do and what can't you do? Well, I don't have a lot of numbers set up in my Gmail account, but I'm gonna show you guys how to add them and get it started. But for now, let's do a couple of business calls just to see if it works. Hey Google, call Petco Park. Sure, since this is your first call with Google Home, here's a couple of notes. First, emergency numbers are not available. At the end of your call, tell me to hang up. Calling Petco Park on Park Boulevard in San Diego. Hey Google, stop. So it made the call no problem. Let's get a little more complicated. Okay Google, call Home Depot in New York City. I found a couple of the Home Depot locations near New York. The first one is the Home Depot at 40 West 23rd Street, New York. The second one is the Home Depot at 983rd Avenue, New York. Okay, Google. Call Home Depot on 3rd Avenue in New York City. Sure. Since this is your first call with Google Home, here's a couple of notes. First, emergency numbers are not available. At the end of your call, tell me to hang up. Calling the Home Depot on 3rd Avenue in New York. Thank you for calling the Home Depot. We are currently closed. For store hours, press 1. Okay, Google. Hang up. Okay, Google. Call mom. To get help with that, you'll need to give me some more information. You can do that in the Google Home app. So as you can see, it can't call mom or any of your contacts because I don't have anything synced into my Gmail account yet. So now I'm gonna show you how you can go into your Gmail account and add your contacts. Now keep in mind, if you have an Android device or an iPhone that synchronizes through Google, you can make that your default list and then synchronize any contacts that you want and then Google will be able to pick it up from that Gmail account. The first thing you wanna do is go to mail.gmail.com. Then press the squares in the corner to get access to the apps. Once you press on the apps, then press contacts. Here you'll see a list of contacts that are stored in your Gmail account, and now you can add as many contacts as you like. I'm gonna make a sample. Once you make your sample, go ahead and save it. Let's go and add one more and then save it again. Now I have my accounts installed in here, let's go to the Google's Home app and synchronize it with my account. In order to get the Google Home to call your contacts, you gotta make sure that you allow it to share your personal information with their servers. At the time I set this one up, I turned it off, so let me show you how to turn it back on. First thing you wanna do is hit the Google's Home application. From the home screen, press on the account button right here in the corner. Then press on settings. 
Next, you want to scroll down and hit more settings. Press on assistant, then scroll down and find your device. Once you find your device, press on personal results and this will synchronize your contacts. Give it a few minutes and you should be able to call any contact that's in your Gmail account. Now that I showed you how to add some contacts, let's go and do a couple of test calls. When I added 611 as the contacts as an example, those are not applicable to Google. Let me give you an example. Okay, Google. Call mom. Sorry, calls to 611 aren't available on Google Home. But I went back in the system and changed my text Steve over to my real phone number. Let me show you that. Okay, Google. Call text Steve. Calling text Steve, other. Hello? Hello? Testing one two, three. Testing one, two, three. one, two, three. One, two, three. So you can see it works fine. Okay, Google. Hang up. If you plan on calling outside of your home area, then you need to set up a Google Voice number, and this will allow you to transfer any phone number over to a dedicated Google's number. The great thing about this particular feature is that you don't have to give up your own phone number whenever you give it out to friends and your phone will ring. Additional to that, this number will also let you put credits on it so you can use it on the Google's home for international calls. To get started, go to the top here, sign in with your Gmail account that you have on your Google's home device. Once you signed in, hit the three lines in the corner, then go down to credits. At this point, you can add credits into your account that you can use for long distance calls. Keep in mind there's increments of 10, 25, or $50. Once you have your Google's voice number set up, this is how you toggle over to that one instead of your main number. Once you get under services, click on voice, mobile calling, and now you can choose Google Voice. You'll need to log in with the Gmail account that you signed up with, and then all your credits will be on there. And then once it's set up, you can toggle over to it, and you can start using your Google Voice for international calls. Now the same setup is gonna be set up for Fi. Normally your phone number is gonna show up on a caller ID, but let me show you how to protect your privacy. And this is how you do it. Under the main settings, click on own number, and then click on use unlisted number. So I hope after watching this video, you have a better understanding of how to use the Google's calling feature. Now they will continue to grow and improve on this as time goes on, and maybe it'll reach your area as well. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.